Stop. Just stop. Stop where you are right now. Stop. 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 Thank you. All right. You know the title of the video. Stop making these videos. If you want some more leads, let me show you. If you haven't yet, uh, please subscribe. Hit that button to subscribe and then also hit the bell right after that to be notified of every time I post a new video on social media for Realtors. I myself have been doing social media for years. It's been an amazing vehicle to drive in leads to my business every day and I'm going to show you I can do the same and I've done a lot of trial and error with videos that have worked and videos that definitely do not work so I'm going to show you which ones to not use. Here we go. First one is done for you videos. What the heck does that mean? Well, what I'm talking about is for some of you, you may know what I'm talking about is you go on a website. Uh, one example is Fiverr and you hire somebody to make a promotional video for you. And what they do is they take a generic video and just put a different voiceover on it. So maybe it's cartoon characters or it's just a, a generic video of somebody at the beach. And it's like, hey, if you are interested in real estate and you want to buy or sell, contact X agent at phone number. And that, that's it. So A, people are getting pretty smart now with everything that's out there. They know that's just kind of a, it's a done for you video where it's just, it's a stock video that's out there and millions of people have used it and they just use it in a different fashion and they put your name and number on it instead. And those don't really work because they're not showing the real you and it's just kind of constant, I don't know, is it constitutional is the right word? Like it's just, it's just to me not the right uh, institutionalized advertising that isn't gonna show your real you and Going to spend some money on that and it's not going to get you the return at all so save your money on that one i call these ones ripple videos that was a company where you would s submit a bunch of photos to and they would make a little movie out of your photos and what it kind of looked like to some people is you just did not want to put in the time to make your own content so you uploaded it it shot out this video and it just plays to some generic music with the photos going, which you could have done yourself really easily, but you just went to this site that did it for you. And it just, I don't know, people can see the photos online. There's no, again, it's not showing you. It's just very generic. There's no life to it. And then to be honest, the worst ones I've seen is where it's still got the little watermark down below that says Ripple because they didn't pay the money to go to the website to take the watermark off. So in people's minds, it shows laziness. I'm sorry to be frank, but that's what people think. And then when they see the watermark on there, it gives them the feeling of cheap. So yeah, no, please no more of those type of videos for you. What are some of the worst videos that uh, you've seen online. Comment below and let me know. Next one, I call these salesy type videos because you bring out the real salesman in yourself and you're gonna sell this house. So you go through it and you're like, this is a four bedroom, three bathroom home and it's amazing. Just look at the quality in here, it's so cool. Yes, you've seen a lot of those because I admit it, it's ingrained into our brains and our probably sales training that that's what you got to do don't do those everyone's doing them you want to be more about telling the story of the house and what it's about and showing the parks around the community it's in and kind of giving people that mental image of why they may want to buy there like this is an amazing uh, location because you've got the school right down there there's these five restaurants nearby I actually did a video on these restaurants you can Check that out in the link down below. Um, one of these restaurants actually makes the bed. They were voted best burger in the city and it's like five minute walking distance from the house to this place. Uh, there's this, this park across the street that's got this amazing slide. The kids love it there. The previous owners would sit on the uh, ledge right here at the window. They'd watch the kids walk to school 
They didn't have to worry about driving them, no matter what the weather was. It was really easy. They could tell if they could see the door right there, so they actually knew if the kids were in the school or not, or if they were having issues that they need to go help them. It just made their life so much more easy and enjoyable. See? See the difference there? That just paints so much more of a better picture for people than saying, this is a kick butt home because it's got four bedrooms. Like, who wouldn't want four bedrooms? You get the idea. Just, yeah, don't uh, be creating those style of videos. Try to tell the story instead. Promotional type videos that really try to push yourself. So you gotta be careful with this one because I get you gotta kind of give people an idea of how, I mean, you're a great realtor, but you don't wanna do it in the way that you're like, you gotta buy through me because I won this many awards and I'm so awesome and uh, and yeah, it's because I'm just the best and that's why you should list your house with me. Those type of videos, again, kind of turn people off nowadays. So instead of telling people, show them. So if you're creating a video, show what you do instead of bragging yourself up. So be like, you know what? The buying and selling process is, is really tricky. Uh, and, and this is what, why we have this team created. This is why I've got a listing coordinator, I've got a transaction coordinator, and this is what we do. So when the house goes under contract, we do this, and then it goes here so that we make sure it gets off to the appropriate lender. And then from there, if we have issues, we deal with that. We line up the home inspection, it goes here, this gets sent off to the lawyers, and the nice thing is we've got our accountant in-house takes care of all the deposits, make sure that's secure. Actually using this software, which keeps it secure, uh, so that we know we don't have any glitches there, and then eventually we wait till possession day comes and we sign here, this is what we do. Um, meet you at the house and, and this is the part I love the most is when we get to hand the keys over because I mean myself as a homeowner I don't forget my possession day it was so exciting and uh, I just love it for my customers when we get to do that and see the family moving in and enjoying the park across the street it's, it's just amazing so see the difference there about the two different style of videos again where one is just like me 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 this is why I'm so great. And the other one's like, show them what you actually do and how you get from solving their problem, from getting from point A to point B to actually being a homeowner is gonna resonate with a lot more people than look at all my awards and this is why I'm the best. The, the other one, you just, yeah, you need to have that uh, emotional connection. That's my list of videos you should stop creating, uh, but now you know which videos don't to create, but you're wondering, well, what the heck should I create? I'll give you some examples, obviously, in this video, but if you're wanting more, then you're gonna wanna click on the link in my description below in there. I have a free guide. Yes, that is true. It is a free guide of a bunch of uh, video marketing ideas that are gonna 10 times your leads. And when you're done here, don't forget to watch my prior videos that I've done on video marketing. And please, if this was beneficial, give me a like, subscribe, and share with your fellow.